These are the best two exercises you can do to improve your golf, and I'm going to show you why. Most golfers focus on exercises that are all about trying to add more rotation, thinking that will improve their golf swing. However, golfers are unsure why they need to do some form of squat and jumping exercise and how that's going to translate to their golf swing. In this video, I'm going to show you how and why this is essential. When we look at the best golf swings in the world, typically they all have one thing in common. In simple terms, when we see the best players transition from the top of the backswing into the downswing, we see their lower body, their legs, create a squat-like motion where they are pushing vertically into the ground as the club is coming down. As they get halfway down in the downswing, we then see a push out the ground, a ground reaction force that gives them vertical emotion and are able then to hit through the ball with maximum speed. This biomechanical movement is exactly why we need to be strong in the squat pattern, in the legs, in the muscles that work that movement and also to be as powerful as possible in that motion. So I'm going to show you some exercises that are essential for you to apply knowing that if you get stronger and more powerful in these movements, that's going to have a direct transfer to doing that better in your golf swing and increasing your club head speed. So the squatting movement pattern is the most common exercise we'll see across all gym goers. But what we need to understand is when we squat, predominantly we're working strength in the glutes and in the quad muscles. But to do this effectively, we also need to have good mobility through the ankles, knees and hip joints and to be able to be controlled through the core. So this is a really good compound exercise that works multiple areas and we need to start out at a level that we're capable of. So in a simple sense, a good conventional squat, we want to be shoulder width apart with the feet slightly open. Some of you will need wider or narrower feet depending on how mobile and how easy that feels. And we're just going to learn to get at least a parallel and drive up, keeping the knees in line with the feet. If we can do at least 20 of these in a comfortable fashion, then we obviously want to be able to move on to more advanced versions that utilize weight, kilograms and load to be able to stress our body in a way to get stronger in those key areas. I'm going to show you a few options here that you can work towards. So start with a goblet squat, aim to at least get up to 50% of your body weight as a rule of thumb for at least 10 repetitions to determine how kind of strong you are. All we're trying to do is get that good range of motion and plenty of power in the push where we're overcoming the weight. So once we've got to an advanced level with a goblet squat, we can move on to a landmine variation where it's easier to add more weight and still push the movement with maximal strength. One of the more advanced options is when we move into a barbell version, we can do this obviously a front or back squat and obviously depending on how much weight we can advance up to, maybe working five reps or below so we're hitting that maximal strength gain. A key option a lot of our golfers will choose and as we see in the golf swing movement in that half squat, so we're not working a full range of motion, that is the type of movement we're going to then do in the squat pattern. I would always advise getting as strong as possible in a full range of motion and then adding in the half range on a separate session so you're working both movements. Now that you understand why the squat pattern is essential to get strong in, we now need to develop more power in that same pattern, which is as simple as doing a vertical jump motion. However, we need to focus on doing the jump properly and in the right pattern to get that benefit. So what we're gonna specifically look at is something called a counter movement jump. When we look at the golf swing in that half squat pattern, Essentially, the half squat, the push down into the ground is a counter move because they're going to push vertically out of the ground. So in order to go up, they must go down first. So when we do the jumping pattern, we're going to stand in the same squat setup, hands on the hips, and we're going to focus on that half range of motion maximum, moving as quickly as possible to jump vertically off the ground. So as we can see in the jumping motion, we're not going really low into the jump because this wouldn't create that counter move in an effective manner and we wouldn't see this in the golf swing. Focus on just getting the counter move done as powerfully as possible. Once you're able to do the counter movement jump effectively and get strong in the squat, we then move on to a loaded counter movement jump. We're gonna start off with a single dumbbell. A lot of golfers can't understand why we would jump with weight. We need to add more stress to the body than just our body weight. That will help us produce more force, more vertical push and done in a quicker manner. Aim to use around 40% weight of what your maximum squat would be. And although it might feel relatively heavy, that's kind of the purpose. So exact same exercise, let the dumbbell hang and explode. And the final option is we're going to go into a barbell variation. 
Again, we're trying to get maximum load in this jumping capacity that's going to be around 40% of your max squat. Think about this as a bigger picture. What we're looking to is at least be able to squat our body weight. So let's just say hypothetically our body weight's 100 kilograms. We need to be doing this jump with 40 kilograms and we want to build up the both of them in terms of a ratio. So it should feel heavy. It should feel like we have to produce a lot of power to get our body actually off the ground with that amount of weight. Now that you understand why squatting and jumping and improving these key physical areas crosses over to the golf swing, make sure you're integrating these into your program. If you're unsure where to start and need some guidance on your program, you can access my golf fitness app that will take you through some key routines that integrate this and also start you at the level that you need to be at. If you're someone who's improved those physical components and feel you're already strong enough and powerful, but you don't see that in your golf swing, watch this video next to understand how we can transfer that more biomechanically to hit the ball further and move better.